Ready to go outside? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's see if I can carry the colander and the camera and manage a two and a half year old all at once. Hello everyone and welcome to a post-work episode of the Mindful Homestead. Emma and I are coming out to the garden. We're gonna do some harvesting for supper tonight. It's uh, after work. Worked until 4.30 today, so I'm home now. Jackie's still working, she'll be out in like an hour. But uh, come out to the garden, we're gonna grab some, some greens for dinner. I'm thinking some mustard greens, maybe some spinach. We'll see what's looking good. But first, before I do any of that, I'm gonna set up the chipmunk traps that we use typically. I did a video on these and setting them up last year. I'll link that in the upper corner. Uh, let me show you why we're gonna put them out. So if you look over here, you can see this whole thing is our strawberry patch. And we're starting to get some berries, some actual good sized ones coming in. Whoa, Emma, check this out, look. No, don't touch it. That's pretty cool, there's a spider eating a fly right in the strawberries. So we've got all these strawberries coming in here in this patch, and last year the chipmunk's favorite thing to eat was the strawberries. It was in here, I mean, we saw it coming in and out of this, this patch of strawberries daily, hourly, you know, four or five times an hour even. We were finding half chewed up strawberries all over the perimeter of the garden. And it wasn't until we put these traps out that we finally were able to manage the chipmunk problem. So this year, before the strawberries turn red, I'm gonna get these traps out ahead of time and we're gonna hopefully nip the problem before it starts. So I'm gonna head into the garage, I'm gonna grab them. I've still got the stuff I had last year. I'm not gonna show you how to make them in this video again. That's that video that I linked up in the corner before if you wanna see how to make these things. But I am gonna get them set up. And what I'll actually do is I will set them up in this video and I will hold off on putting this video out until I've had them out a couple days and we can see how they actually work and, and what they're catching. So I don't know why before I said that I wasn't gonna show you how to do this because it's actually really easy to do it and literally right here I can show you everything that it takes. Uh, all you need is a five gallon bucket, like a three foot length of two by four or any other wood you, you want. Uh, two by four would work, one by four would work, one by three would work, probably even like a one by two would work. As long as it's about three feet long. And then you wanna put two screws through the end of it uh, two screws or nails, you basically just want something sticking out the end. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that three foot piece of wood, you are going to hook it to the edge of your bucket, just like that. And then you're gonna grab your hose and you're gonna fill your bucket about three quarters of the way full. That's maybe a little high, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna pour them in. Pour the thing in. Oh, that's perfect. Good job. So Emma actually did it perfectly. This is exactly what you want. You want your bucket three quarters full. You want a skim of black oil sunflower seeds floating on top because that's what chipmunks love best. And then you want some on your plank. And the idea is that the chipmunks will walk up the plank, they'll get to the end, they'll see those floating sunflower seeds. They're gonna say, holy cow, I'm in heaven. And then they're gonna jump, and what they think is a bucket of sunflower seeds is water, and they can't get out of it. The big thing to remember if you're using this trap is that it does kill the chipmunk, uh, or mouse, or rat, whatever lands in there. 
Uh, squirrels are able to climb out. Uh, woodchucks, gophers, things like that. They're not gonna go in there. So it is pretty selective, but you are going to kill the chipmunks and the mice and the rats and anything else that jumps in there. So if you're not into that, uh, there are other methods out there. You can use coyote urine. You can spread it around your garden. I've heard you can use dried blood as well. Uh, the thing I found with dried blood is that you have bobcats and coyotes in the area. Uh, it, they will be drawn to that. So if you have other livestock around the farm, that might not be the best choice. If you have tried and true remedies for keeping chipmunks out of a garden, uh, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. But for now, when I found that we need to reduce chipmunk populations in an area quickly, uh, this is the best way that I found. So that's how we do it. And I don't do it all season long, but I do use them during a portion of the season where I'm gonna know I'm gonna be harvesting things that they really like and things are just coming into ripeness. Now let's figure out what we're gonna have for dinner tonight because I've got something that's ready to go, it looks like. So what we've got here going is this is the greens bed and we've got mustard greens, we've got leaf lettuce, we've got romaine lettuce, which isn't doing so hot, and then we've got our spinach over there. I'm going to harvest mustard greens tonight. If you've never had mustard greens, uh, they're a delicious green, they're, they're peppery, they're similar to arugula lettuce. If you've ever had arugula, they're not bitter like kale or collards can be. They're really delicious. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna harvest these. We're having salmon tonight on the grill that I'm gonna do with a kind of teriyaki style. So I think these will be perfect. What's up? You want to taste it? Taste it. Taste it. Take a bite. A little nibble. Yeah, I'm fine. What do you think? Is that good? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. Good. Eat this? It sounds like we're just in time for Jackie to come outside. All right, you ready to surprise Mommy with what we picked? Yeah. All right, I think Mommy's coming out. Show mommy what you picked. What's my surprise? Surprise! What are those? What is this? Do you remember what they're called? Do you know what this is? Yes. Mustard greens? Mustard greens. Whoa, are we having those with dinner tonight? Yeah. Oh, did you pick that? Yeah. That's so cool. So I'm going to start cooking dinner. We're gonna get the mustard greens inside. We're gonna clean them up. I've got the grill heating up behind me and I will check back in with you in a day or so and we'll see how that trap worked. Mm -hmm. Fast forward now. We're back. It's the next day. We had dinner. Dinner was great. We're gonna go out. We're gonna feed the pigs. We're gonna feed the turkeys. Uh, we're gonna get all the animals squared away for the morning. And then we're gonna check that chipmunk trap and see how it did. New pig trough is working great. Everyone is getting along better than they were before. I won't say they're getting along perfect. Uh, if you wanna see that video, I'll put a link up in the corner to that. Adam. All right, the pigs are fed, turkeys are fed, everyone's got water. 
Let's go see what we caught in our trap. There's no seeds on the ramp and the seeds on the top of the water have definitely been disturbed. So I think something was here for sure. Uh, the other nice thing about this trap is the screws with nails. You can actually use that to fish whatever's in the trap up and out. So it's kind of a self-contained thing. So that was night one. So I set this up not even yesterday morning. I set it up at probably close to six o'clock last night and it's now nine o'clock the next day. And we had one chipmunk and four mice. This is in our garden. This is, those are four animals that would have been eating the things that were growing in the garden. They would have been eating strawberries. They would have been eating squash. Uh, they would have been eating the food for our family. We're not looking to eradicate these populations entirely from the the homestead uh, obviously these things are useful for the environment uh, they provide food for predators like coyotes and bobcats uh, which makes it so that those predators are not attacking our chickens but when they're in our garden and that's what they're they're targeting when they're here um, they need to go unfortunately so uh, so as you can see bucket trap one night four mice, one, one chipmunk, they work. I mean, they, they just work well. So I'm gonna reset the ramp up here. Uh, I'm gonna leave this as the day goes on and probably we'll only have this out for another couple days just to drop the population a little bit. We don't leave these things out all season long. They're very much a targeted approach to drop the population uh, just before times of harvest so that we're able to get the food we're growing instead of the other critters. Let us know in the comments down below if you've tried this bucket trap and how it's worked for you. Again, I've linked back to that other video where we show you more in depth how to do it. Uh, I'll put that link in the description as well as I had it up in the corner earlier. If you like what we're doing here on the farm and you wanna stay in touch with what we've got going on, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.